Till your glory by sin and shame dissolved, and now forever yours I'll stand in love, never to end. To call you more than Lord, glorious friend. So I'll throw. In the scripture saying in Jeremiah that he have a future, he will not abandon us. I was born in the Philippines and growing up in a poor family and living in a tiny house, no stove. We just used wood in cooking. And growing up, um, I did not receive any gift. Sometimes we go to bed empty stomach. And when I was a child, I have favorite memory verse. It says in the scriptures in Psalms 37, 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. I decided to have my own crayons, but my mom could not afford something like that. One day, our pastor inviting us for an event for the church. I saw this big brown boxes and so my teacher handed me the shoe box I'm so excited to open it teacher counted three two one and then we open it together with the other kids and when I opened my shoe box I saw a lot of items in there like the hygiene I have a washcloth pencils and I have stuffed toys and in my joy, I see a full box of crayons. I am grateful in that moment, knowing that there is people who pack a shoebox gift for me. And I am blessed because they uh, send me a box of gift that brings joy for me. I become a, a training teacher of the greatest journey, and it's impacted to me because I see those children going to church with their families and I see their smiles and joy in their eyes that when they receive um, the shoe boxes that I felt when I was received. I moved in the United States in 2016. I got married and I have two kids. And so I become a yearly volunteer for shoe boxes in our church. I am so grateful for being involved in this ministry and Operation Christmas Child, knowing that through packing shoe boxes, I am allowing children all over the world to the love of Christ and bring joy to them. <laughs>